All right, hello folks. We are here for yet another M19 draft, and we have quite a strong pack here. Um, possibly the best uncommon in murder, but patient rebuilding is pretty much a bomb. If you can just build a deck that can survive and get this card into play, you will win a lot of games of Magic. So I'll definitely be taking patient rebuilding. Uh, sad that I'm passing a murder. I don't usually do that. But I've been on the receiving and the giving end of this deck many times. Or this card, I should say. And it's not a pretty sight. Okay. So here we have got another pretty strong pack. Um, we have two strong cards in Luminous Bonds and Lightning Strike. And it's actually a pretty interesting choice. Red is fairly aggressive in this format, so I think it pairs a little bit worse with the Patient Rebuilding than Luminous Bonds does. I think Lightning Strike is generally a better card, but probably not even by a large margin. So I think I'm going to take Luminous Bonds here and maybe try to draft a Sweet Blue White Control deck. All right. So in this pack, we don't really have any good blue or white cards. Uh, Skyscanner is okay. Blue-white has kind of an artifact theme. But it's not that big a deal. Um, so I might just be branching out into a different color here. And if I was going to branch out into another color, it would be green. There's a few green cards that I like here. I like blue-green a lot in general. Uh, Luminous Bond's also a pretty splashable card. In general, I like Rabid Bite better than Rejuvenator. But with the Patient Rebuilding, I almost want to take the Rejuvenator instead. But I think I'll take Rabid Bite. Like, re Patient Rebuilding's just gonna be one card in our deck, so I mean, it's not like everything has to be totally warped around it. I don't think it's right to take something like an Anticipate. I find that just to be a very mediocre card. Yeah, so I think I'll take a Rabbit Bite here. Okay. So here I would say the choice is between a Gear Per Guide and a Omen Speaker. Gear Per Guide is better in just um, Kind of a normal green deck. Omen Speaker, more defensive card. I'm gonna take Gear Per Guide, I think. Uh, I think we'll be able to get cards of similar quality to Omen Speaker almost at will. Uh, I just don't think it's really worth picking for. Not that Gear Per Guide is great, but it is a three power thing for our Rabbit Bite. So he does have that going for him. There's nothing wrong with paying patient rebuilding in an otherwise kind of normal deck. Like you don't really have to just be a straight up control deck. Cause again, you're not going to draw it every game. So if you're just like a green blue deck and then you can just slam that card, I mean, you're just gonna be filling up your card, your hand with cards and you're going to be doing just fine. So here, I think we just take a Daggerback Basilisk. Daggerback Basilisk, just a fine card. It's a good defensive card to buy time to patient rebuilding, but also good with Rabid Bite, and it's a card I've, I've been reasonably fond of in general. Okay. So a few decent options here. Uh, totally Lost, an okay card. Manolith is an okay card. It helps you cast your uh, splash cards like a Luminous Bonds. Only problem is green does get... Um, a fair amount of ramp. There's three common or uncommon ramp cards in green. And Manolith is pretty much the worst of those. I generally like Rock's Oracle better than Thornhide Wolves. The Cantrip's usually better than Three Toughness. Uh, I do also like Totally Lost, but those just go pretty late and I never want more than one. I think I'll take Rock's Oracle here. All right, not that much going on in this pack. 
Uh, the choices would be like a wall of mist, uh, which is alright. Uh, plummet's okay. Or there's some much boneyard, but there's not a lot of black cards to splash. The um, Lich's Caress is double black, Murder's double black. You can splash Drangling Spores, and that's okay. So I think I'll just take Plummet here. Plummet's an okay main deck card in this format, I find. Alright, so now we've got, again, an access to a Totally Lost, or we could take a Daggerback Basilisk. Um, yeah, I think I'll take Daggerback Basilisk. We're not that committed to blue yet, even though Patient Rebuilding is a very strong card. I think here I'll just take the land. Um, there are a couple red cards that you don't mind splashing, like Electrify or Lightning Strike. And I don't think I'm going to miss the charge too much. Alright, I'll take this stone quarry even though well kind of interesting we could take this tectonic rift if you're green red it's actually a pretty reasonable card gets through your fat ground guys so i, I just the red white land is is a pretty big outlier in terms of plausibility that we'll play it all right so none of these picks matter all right so we're not locked into playing patient rebuilding even though it's quite a nice card. Ah. So now we've got an interesting choice. So the two cards that stand out are Sleep and Leonin Warcaller. Blue did not seem particularly open in the first pack, which means it probably is not going to be open in the third pack. Not sure white seemed that open either. We took a luminous bond second, I think. Sleep is a very nice card. I mean, both of these are very nice cards. Don't get me wrong. So it's actually a pretty tough pick. Like, sleep is kind of what you want in your green-blue decks. You can really take advantage of it because you've just got to have a lot of power on board a lot of the times. Um, but Lean and Warcaller is a card that hard to beat if it's unanswered. Whereas, and it's, I mean, just an efficient body. It can play defense. You know, I mean, that's not what it's for. It's a format of 4-4 on defense. Whereas Sleep is, you know, good in kind of more specific situations. I mean, it's game-winning in those situations. Um, it would also let us... The Sleep would push us towards being able to play the Patient Rebuilding, which is a pretty nice upside. Patient Rebuilding is a better card than Luminous Bonds. All right, I'm going to take Sleep. I think I've... Convince myself to do that. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. So now we've got some interesting choices here. Uh, Dreadmaw and Boar, both reasonable cards. I like Dreadmaw a lot more if I've got a bunch of ramp, which we're currently lacking on. Sarkin's Unsealing is a nice card, but uh, I'm not sure that's going to be the one we're playing. Since we're definitely green, I kind of want to take a green card. My inclination is kind of to take Boar here. Even though I think it's probably generally a little bit worse than Dreadmaw. I'm just thinking, as it's looking right now, we're probably only going to want to play like one Dreadmaw. And we might have a chance at another one or kind of comparable cards. Whereas we, we're probably going to want several four drops. So I'm going to take Boar here. Okay. So I would say the best card in the pack is the Angel of the Dawn. But I think we really want to try to play blue. 
So I don't think it's going to be Angel of the Dawn. Uh, Essence Scatter is probably the best blue card here. Uh, Surge Mare is fine. But I think Essence Scatter is usually better. So yeah, I think I'll take an Essence Scatter here. Mirror Image is okay too, but it's nothing amazing. You're usually not getting a great deal on the mana. Okay. So we have a Switcheroo. We don't really have any great like combo with Switcheroo, like Elvish Rejuminators or anything like that. So I don't think I'm going to take that. There's a green-blue dual end, but I may actually just be more interested in this Manolith. Because we do need ramp. I, I did say it was like kind of the fourth best, op fourth best option at, for this deck after Gift of Paradise, the 2-drop, and Elvish Rejuvenator. But beggars can't be choosers, as the saying goes. Uh, we potentially play a Serpent. But yeah, I think I'll take a Manolith here. Alright, I'm pretty happy to pick up a Corsair. Again, there's an Angel in the pack who's a nice one, but I think Corsair fits what we're doing a little bit better. All right. So a couple cards we're potentially interested in. Uh, Bone Dash is a nice one. I usually, my green blue decks, I don't love just totally beefing up on Counter spells, and we've already got an essence scatter. I think I'm still gonna pick it though. Uh, the other option is a tranquil expanse, but I don't think I want to pick that here. All right. Um, yeah, I think we don't have many options here except for a giant spider. Um, could have maybe had a nice green white deck. So I guess here we just pick up a Serpent. He's worse than a uh, Dreadmaw for sure, but I'm not going to prioritize Highland game that much, uh, though we do want to pick up a couple two drops at some point. Uh, maybe it's better to pick up the Highland game. Highland game is just such a mediocre card. Yeah, I'm going to take the Serpent and... Hope we can pick up a couple, just medium two drops. Don't really want any of these cards. Um, well, hopefully we don't play the two three, but you never know. I don't think we'll play our first tectonic rift, let alone the second. Uncomfortable chill can be playable. It's nothing great. All right, uh, we'll see exactly. Well, we got our green white land back, so at least we have that going for us. It's an impossible to play as well to miss the way things are going. Okay, well, this is a manolith, despite all the extra text. Uh, Gift of Paradise is better because it'll fix us for our luminous bombs. Uh, I think Get to Paradise is the pick here. It's not that exciting, but like Avon Windmage is less exciting, I think. And like I said, this does have a little upside over the Dragon, whatever, Dragonstone. We'll call it Dragonstone. All right, well, as often is the case, and despite being a blue deck, we have virtually no blue creatures. So I'm not that tempted by the 3-5. I'd probably take the 4-5 over it. Um, basically, my hope is to get both these cards out of the pack. I think it's probably slightly more important to actually get the Highland game. I think the AI tend to value those cards pretty lowly. And there's some pretty good cards for other colors in the pack. So I think we'll get back the Wolves. But it's kind of it's a little bit of a guessing game to figure out what they'll pick. All right, I think picking up a exclusion mage is pretty good here. There's another luminous bonds, which isn't bad, but I like exclusion mage quite a bit. I think it's probably the better pick here. All right, and then I'm pretty happy to get a snapping drake. We probably do want one totally lost, but 
I think Snapping Drake will be a nice addition to this deck. Alright, then there's this pack. Not a lot going on in it. Um, I don't think we're going to wind up splashing this Tectonic Rift. So I'm not too tempted by the blue-red card. I guess I'll take a Cancel, but I don't. I really don't think we're going to play it. Maybe we could have taken the Frilled Serpent there, and that would have been reasonable, but... Alright, I'll take Totally Lost here. Like I said, we wanted to pick up one of those at some point. Alright, and this is a good time to pick up another Luminous Bonds. So we are sitting at enough playables now, somehow. Uh, we gotta decide if we want another Manolith. I usually don't like loading that much up on the three mana things, and our, our high end is not that high. So... Not that excited by it. Uh, there's not a lot of other options, but I guess I'll take this 3-5. And he will basically be a 3-5 most of the time. Alright, Disperse. Not totally impossible it makes the cut, but hopefully it's unlikely. Alright, this guy's generally going to be better than the Gearsmith Guardian. So the deck's pretty medium, I would say. But it's possible we could win some games. I might even be tempted to play another of these serpents. So I gotta figure out exactly what we're doing. I think one of the serpents is probably gonna get cut along with Gearsmith Guardian. Um, I don't really want to play the wall or the uncomfortable chill. Uh, so let's just verify that we're not playing too many other embarrassing cards. We have too many three drops. And it doesn't seem like our creature count's particularly high, which not really where you want to be for green-blue. Um, but we don't have that many things on the bench. Like, the wall is only sort of a creature. We are main decking a plummet, and we only have one two-drop creature. None of these things are things I really want to do. It's, it has three planes in the deck. I don't know about the... I'll play, I think, just one planes. Uh, let's find the lens. So, probably just like this. This gives us eight sources of green and blue. Yeah. Um, I think this is fine. Like, it's definitely not a great deck or one I'm, I'm that happy about. But maybe it can it can do the job. Just maybe. So I think I'm going to run this, and we'll see how we do. I think this is a mulligan. It's a little dependent on drawing a green really fast. We do have eight sources. But yeah, I think I'm mulligan. Okay. This one's not great. I think we want to bottom this island. Uh, but we do have access to a manolith right away and a luminous bonds that can take care of this bird. No, probably not what it's going to be doing. Well, it might be him. Let's see if he just throws another aura on it. Yeah, I think we are luminous bonding this bird here. Uh, the next turn we can play Manolith and uh, Loop Essence Scatter, perhaps. Alright, good news for us that he's not doing a lot more. 
That's not a bad draw either. So I think we can take three here and get our Essence Scatter. Um, hopefully play our Essence Scatter this turn. If not, we still have the option to... All right, so he didn't go for it. We still have the option to just play this and leave up Essence Scatter, which I think is going to be, be the right call. Let's see if he wants to play a Dread Maw to be ideal. Yeah, I think I want to block this. Like, we have Essence Scatter if he plays anything too threatening. He doesn't. All right, now we're going to get down Boar. Plus have Essence Scatter up. So we're kind of pulling ahead on board now. Get it on board. Definitely gonna essence scatter that guy. All right. Um, are we willing to trade four for a two point life swing? Or do we just wanna play giant spider? Yeah, I think we can attack and play giant spider. So it's only gonna be a one point life swing on his end. This gives him a window to resolve something, but I don't I don't know that he's got a lot of gas in his hand. And we got luminous bonds if we really need to get rid of something beastly. Like that. So we'll take four here, and then we get a luminous bonds that if we draw a land, we get to keep up our bone dash, which would be nice. Okay, well. Now you're just being a smart ass. Attack for six. So as long as he's not landing something giant here, all right, good deal. And we can play that plus play our gear per guide. Or sorry, we can play our gear per guide plus leave up bone dash. So that's acceptable to me. All right, he just conceded. All right, bit of a scary start and not a particularly strong showing from our deck. Well, it might be a strong showing from our deck in the sense that our deck doesn't tend to have strong showings. About as strong as it gets. so far. Every one, I'm thankful for every win I get with this deck, honestly. Not that the deck's totally terrible, but it just didn't really come together. I have, I have some regrets. Maybe some results-oriented regrets, but oh yeah, we gotta keep this end. Hopefully get to use this plummet for something. But if not, we got, uh, you know, a three, four, five type curve. All right, not bad. So probably not a lot of things we'll be able to hit with this plummet right now. And I've just never been impressed by Doom Descenter. I guess I'll just play Courser here. Reason being, he might attack into my guy and get the zombie, and then I want to play Snapping Drake next turn, so I'd rather have the, the big body. <laughs> given that we've got, uh, given that we've got the patient rebuilding in hand, for the most part, I'm pretty much just interested in drawing this game out. All right, I think we just play this now. Gets us one step closer to lining the patient rebuilding. If we can do that at a relatively high life total, then things should go pretty smoothly for us. I 
I don't give him a lot of credit for like a sheer strike or something right now. It might have been a tempting play to use that last turn. I'll give him a lot more credit if he attacks with Pyromancer. If he attacks with just the center, then not much credit he will be getting from me. All right. Should maybe attack with Doom to Center here. Just because then he gets in a little bit more damage next turn. But yeah, I'm just going to play patient rebuilding here, I think, and hope for the best. Worst case. Hmm. Say he liches caresses my guy and gets me for 7 down to 11. I could kind of go down on the back foot then. Maybe it's better to just get down Rock's Oracle, honestly. Just to stabilize the board a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll do that. It's the pansy play, I get it. But yeah, the main thing is just to not let him because so, I mean, patient rebuilding, you know, doesn't affect the board. So the way you beat patient rebuilding is just by taking advantage of that tempo and overwhelming them on the board. All right. So what really owns us here? Not that much. Maybe a plague mare. But even a Plague Mare, I'm not that worried about. Okay, Skeleton Archer makes some amount of sense. Alright, so we can go for Gift of Paradise plus Basilisk. Again, I don't think I want to run out, just run out patient rebuilding here. Its main effect on the game is going to be drawing cards. We have plenty of cards right now. So I think I'm just going to put this on my forest. Hold. I don't, I don't trust the tappers here. And we'll just play the basilisk. Black red, not really a color combination known for flyers, so... Looks like he's probably playing Blood Divination here. No, maybe. Maybe not. If he plays Blood Divination, then I think I'm reasonably happy. All right, 3-3 three, three haste. So I guess we'll trade with... Not sure it matters that much. I think the one damage ping is less likely to matter than haste if he reanimates it. The rise to the grave or something like that. All right, so we've got three six mana. Again, I'm not gonna play patient rebuilding here. I think I'm just gonna get down the four six. See if he can deal with that. Hopefully he just plays a flyer this turn, and we probably just win. Mind rot. All right, I think I'm fine with this. I'll just discard the cards that aren't patient rebuilding, and I don't think he's doing anything else of note this turn. Let me just hope the four six hold down the fort here. And I'm gonna play all my lands just because I draw extra cards with patient rebuilding. Keeps hovering over his doom descent here. Okay, I thought he had I thought he had blood divination. <laughs> I 
So it'll be a bit before we actually mill them. Uh, I'll block. Uh, I guess he must have a lightning strike post combat. Only thing that really makes sense to me, but taking three repeatedly. Okay, I guess not. All right, so we draw three cards this turn and some pretty decent ones. It's, he must have full control mode on. I don't think there's any instants or sorceries he could have. It's like there's no... Oh, there's a shock, obviously, yeah. Uh, okay, so I guess he miscounted how much damage his stuff does. Yeah, if he wants to electrify this, then that's totally fine. He's not going to be winning this way. Or Spitflame. If he plays a dude here, I guess I've got to consider. I think I'll let that resolve and just hope that... There's so many ways I can just easily answer that. I think I'd rather keep S and Scatter for things that matter. We're drawing three cards this turn. Not particularly good ones, I'll admit. So we're going to take two here. Which we're still at 12, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, he's got to rise from the grave? That's pretty gross. I don't know what we've milled of his. It's the only reason I could think he'd be looking at my graveyard. And he's going to get the serpent back, if so. In which case, it's a good chance I'll just have to do a defensive sleep next turn. Not really where I want to be. It's very weird how they uh, show you what people are hovering over. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's got rise from the grave. I don't know why else he'd be looking through my graveyard. Right be nice to draw. Yeah, there it is. It would be nice to draw a my. Uh, Bounce dude. All right, so we didn't mill any. Oh, there he is. So now he's going to go back to our hand. Uh, and we actually have enough for everything. So that works out just fine. He's down to 10 cards in yard. I think we're probably at the point now where we can't lose. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, three, two. Okay, so we're gonna mill him. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think I'm just gonna sleep him this next turn. All right, so we draw a bunch of cards. All right, so we've got four, eight, 10, 11 mana, and we want to keep up Essence Scatter most likely. So basically we, I think, just pay 10 mana worth of stuff, which is just all these creatures. Oh, I guess I miscounted it. That's fine, I will just play those two guys. I think that'll be good enough. Do we, four, eight, 10, 11, uh, okay. Yeah, we need to only spend nine, obviously. So that's fun. No attacks and turn. We want to not die to the. Yeah, one thing to look out for is dying to the destroy land card. 
We don't currently die to that. Could have been a reason to sleep last turn. But we'll definitely sleep this turn. He's got six cards in his library. I think if we get through this one, then we'll be just fine. I mean, he's only hitting us for uh, six right now, down to four. Fire us for four. He's got a millstone in his deck? Come on now. Alright, so. I think we're just gonna sleep here. Uh, hope he doesn't have another Bane Fire, I guess. Yeah. Is there a four damage to a player? I can't remember. Does that dragon thing target creature? Because like we could do something stupid and just like play Highland game and rabbit bite it, but that's probably unnecessary. So I don't think there's really any reason to attack. Let's play a Highland game, I guess. Because he's just going to get milled out next turn, so doing damage doesn't really matter. Can't beat a Banefire, but we couldn't beat that with the Highland gameplay anyway. Plays around double act of treason. All right, see so another one. All right. <laughs> so so we're two zero with this deck. It was an interesting game. Be curious if anyone has any thoughts in the comments about the timing of the. Uh, Patient rebuilding. I think we would have died if we played it any earlier. I mean, we ended the game at two. Uh, this looks good to me. Hopefully get an essence scatter something on two. That would be ideal. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna essence scatter that. So we don't really like just have a straight up answer to that anywhere. So I'm not sure where it matters where I put this. Next turn we gotta play the wolves. Alright, Pegasus Courser we can deal with, but I'm still gonna play the wolves here, I think. We can do because it's only going to hit us for one. I'd rather get the bigger power on board. And then we can play Corsair plus the... That's not a bad one. Okay, I think we'll Bonds that guy. I mean, I think we're going to have to Bonds that Stag. I'm gonna wait till his turn to plummet his guy because he could play the angel first and I think I'd rather plummet that. And I guess he could have the like indestructible card that, that would get my plummet. Let's let him make attacks.
Oh, I could have killed his stem. That was dumb. I could have let him give that guy flying and killed it. I think that would have been a lot better. Or at least I should have thought about that. Let's just say. All right, the issue no pyromancer, no big deal. Not sure how we want to do this. Kind of just want to pull the trigger on sleep right now. I'm betting he's sitting on a pump spell. And this puts him under some pretty bad pressure. Because it's going to put him to five. So he's going to have to play something pretty nice next turn to not die. Not, I mean, not, it's, it's got to play bit, anything next turn and not die, but it could still be awkward for him. All right, so I guess we'll find out if he's got a combat trick here. Uh, we're taking nine on the swing back, so I don't think it's too bad. And there's a decent chance Onaki Ogre's going to... Okay, it looks like he's got a trick. So he's going to go to two. Yeah. Electrify that. Not attacking with those other guys. I don't get that. Bant not known for its. Uh, yeah, we're going to counter that. our land so that we can play our totally lost if needed. Definitely trade. So we serving. Uh, let's go ahead and put this guy on top and then we'll trade with a 3-3. I'm gonna go to one. So not really a good spot to be in. Yeah, it's not gonna do it. So we lose this one. I wonder if we've been better off. Hard to replay the whole game in my head in terms of if we'd killed his Minotaur instead of the... Uh... So I mean, the two big decision points there, I assume, are plummeting his Pegasus rather than plummeting his Minotaur and then the timing of our sleep. It was a decidedly non-lethal sleep. It's possible we could have navigated that a little bit better, obviously a close game. Keep this end. So we'll, you know, how, depending on how aggressive he is, we'll decide if, oh, that's a good run. Decide if we need to play Gifts of Paradise next turn or Basilisk. Uh, yeah, I don't care about the, I think I'll just get down the Gift of Paradise here. Divination. If we draw a land, we kind of just win the game. All right, we didn't. Hmm. Right, let's play Giant Spider. It negates a lot of the creatures that he could play. So it makes me not care that much about Essence Scattering. 
All right, even when mage is an example of one such. Yeah, and I'm just gonna pass here, leave up essence scatter. If he's paying attention, he knows we have Essence Scatter because it paused in response to his Wall of Mist. But he may not be able to do anything about that. Yeah, definitely Essence Scatter that. And then we get to resolve Patient Rebuilding next turn. And all we have to do is hope he doesn't have a uh, Disenchant in his deck. Or Hieromancer's Cage, if. So we don't have no outs to that. I mean, obviously we don't just lose because he has a Hieromancer's Cage, but we do have a totally loss in our deck. I'm just gonna play two of these guys, I think. We can totally loss that on his instep and then it mills it. Kind of nice. And we got an answer for most creatures that he plays in the form of our Daggerback Basilisks. He's going out of his way to tap that. Uh, like that. All right. Might have a cancel, but what are you going to do if he does? Yeah, I think I will probably leave with the Drake. Let's attack first, actually. Um... I'm guessing he's got a cancel in his hand, so the only question is how we want to sequence this. Would we rather him have an Aven Wind Mage or us have a Snapping Drake? Yeah, I think we'll kill his Aven Wind Mage. Even how he tapped, like manually tapping instead of using the auto tapper, makes me think he was wanting to keep that double blue up for cancel. Revitalize, sure, still does. Actually, it kind of makes sense because the auto tapper would have tapped the blue, so he's probably just trying to represent cancel. So probably the sequencing didn't matter a ton there. Maybe wrong to rabbit bite their period. It's because we do look kind of dumb when we play something bigger here. Currently is a 2-4. We just attack with the team. Hope he doesn't have a flash artifact. I guess he's just a manual tapper. It's just the life he knows. All right, we'll definitely bone to ash that. Might have a cancel here, yeah, it does. Okay, so we did have the cancel. I assume he's not gonna attack for four. I don't think he wants to trade four for three right now. We can still attack with these guys though. Just 
chump blocking. Bonds a basilisk, sure. And he's not going to get in for five. It's an interesting block. Because now our Drake gets through. We got that one, even though he was so lucky to have an answer to patient rebuilding. So lucky. So three and one now. Looks like we got our opponent. Sliders, awesome. Yeah, this looks like a fine hand. Scry to the bottom. Island's a fine draw. We have two double blue cards in hand. Probably play Exclusion Mage on most three drops here, just to slow things down a little bit. All right, we are interested in Luminous Bonds pretty soon. We got the Luminous Bonds, but we're interested in casting it. <laughs> I'll just block the Life Linkers if he wants to attack here. Own luminous bonds. I'm gonna block one of these life linkers. And yeah, we'll probably just go for a main phase. Uh, and I don't think I want to trade two for a life link attack here, so I'll leave this guy back. But uh, I guess in his how do you? S Man, I'm just worried this will go into full control mode here. So he draws. Has to main. I want to do this begin combat. I really don't want him to attack.
pass to combat. Let's hope this doesn't backfire. All right, two attackers. So now let's get that guy. Yes. I don't think there's any interaction one can have here. Hopefully his play is just the Pegasus. The Pegasus is pretty non-threatening since we've got the plummet in hand now. I don't know what interaction you could have with this. Oh, it's me. I'm in full control mode. I get so confused by the... Pass the whole turn. So he's in his second main, hopefully just playing the Pegasus. All right, good deal. So I think we'll just go ahead and kill the Pegasus right now. I don't think there's a compelling reason to not do that. And we'll still just pass. And then we get to Bone to Ash, the Lean and War Caller, or whatever it's called. Lean and war something. We don't have a lot going on. The only thing we have going on is probably our deck's a little better than his. So the longer the game goes, the better. But that's only a little true. Sure. All right, Luminous Bond's a good one. Oh, Luminous Bond's was always a good one, but now we actually can cast it. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and Bone to Ash that to get my card now. I've got Luminous Bonds for his dude, so... Let's get our 4-5 down. I guess I'll get in for one. Should've done that before I attacked, obviously. Or before I played my Wolves. So presumably going to play the Okay. I guess to play the cat. But I, I'd say all things being equal, we're we're pretty much ahead here. Uh might just play the frilled serpent. Is it dangerous just to leave up the leave this guy sitting around? It's a little dangerous, but He's already played two Luminous Bonds. So I have eight mana. I think I'm gonna do it. Like it's possible he draws and plays something that I care about more. It's not likely, but But I think we bonds it now and can get in, start getting in for four. We gotta play our Highland game. And that kind of shuts down his attacks. He can attack with the chaplain, but. Okay. Essence Scatter, obviously a good draw. Alright, he's just gonna chump block. This figures that guy's not doing anything else. 
Yeah, that resolves. It's kind of nice because we have the serpent out. Like the dumb things you think about with. Uh... All right, that's always a good insurance policy. But uh, the fact that we've got the serpent's activated ability means at least when we have seven mana up, it kind of hides our essence scatter. But yeah, it seems like with our hand, we're probably not able to lose this game, realistically. But there's always stupid cards they could draw, so... It's our opponent just plays his lands. Alright, he's gonna get in. So we'll double block. Courser's pretty cool. So we'll get him for six now. Whew. This and scatter the shit out of that guy. Uh, probably didn't, strictly speaking, have to essence scatter that, but why let him? have that in play and then Luminous bonds it and then he draws a disenchant or something it'd be pretty stupid alright we got our dragon egg thank god guys alright four and one getting close to that diamond Up against dog OW overwatch maybe maybe okay don't really like having sleep in my opener, but especially against turn one mountain, I'd say. He's probably got a shock or something in his hand. Chaos wand, okay. Uh, I have to think about how good that is against us. At least he can't get asleep, I guess. Wouldn't surprise me if he shocks our guy. Rabbit bite, alright. Just wasted four mana. I'm trying to think what other instants and sorcerers we have. We have like counter spells. Not much. Cool block. I think yeah, let's block. Cause we have another rabid bite, right? I, I lose track. Devils. Not particularly great here. Looks like he does have the shock. So I'll play my planes. So we have a rabid bite, or so we obviously have a rabid bite somewhere in our deck. So we can plummet that, I guess, if we have, if we want to. But... All right. So let's plummet it now. Probably green red not having a lot of other targets for the. Even though it's not that threatening. Now he doesn't quite die to sleep, but it's pretty close. So he's 
gonna activate that. Probably it's a counter spell, I think. Results. Yeah, hit essence scatter. So we have a bone to ash. something pretty good here. Something that's not a creature. Alright, Gaspark Twin's not good enough. Sleep you. Don't need it, but... Because he could block two creatures, but he can't block three creatures. Alright, one more till diamond, it looks like. So we're five and one, not bad. Let's see if we can rattle off a couple more. Good to me. Sure. Maybe we'll be able to snipe a Pegasus here. I think here we just play Basilisk and try to hang on for dear life. Alright, so we get hit for six. So not looking too great. We're about to go to four. Heroic reinforcements will get us, that's for sure. Hey, look at that. All right, we did. All right. Don't think we really had a chance that game. All right, well, if we win the next two, we get seven wins and we get diamonds, so that'd be cool. I assume that's how it works out. So we're going first and we have this hand. Guess we keep it. Uh, it's tough though, because sleep kind of sucks. Yeah, we keep it though, because if you remove sleep from the hand, then you definitely keep this six. Granted, that's all complicated by the scry and everything, but... Highland game can hopefully buy us a little time. voice sure all right lands a good draw even if it's not the land we'd prefer but I'll just still take it an island we're kind of rolling all right I'm just gonna attack with bolt I think I don't want to trade bolt for his guy 
It's gonna block, okay, it kind of surprised me. Maybe he's not so aggressive. So what did he discard? Discard a land. All right, there's a land. Still gonna need that island at some point, or maybe two islands wouldn't be so bad. Might have to worry about an anticipate. He didn't clearly. All right, I'm gonna just play this guy. Well, I guess I'm gonna play this guy. Unfortunately, if he has a essence scatter, then we. We weren't attacking anyway, though, so... Not really losing anything here. Okay. So you gotta cancel. I'm just gonna pass here. And that taps for double blue, so it does have the anticipate, so that's good news. Demanding dragon, I guess. We'll sack this guy. We can do the old totally lost bone to ash trick on that guy, I guess. I think that's gonna have to be the play. Gotta do it on his turn, because he we don't want him to draw it right away, obviously. So hopefully it doesn't have a cancel. Uh, it's gonna have to resolve. Looks like he's probably got the cancel. No. Oh. anything but pass. Unless he has a land in hand, then he can't... Let's hand his land and cancel, then... Should be okay here. I <laughs> thought second, thought twice about the. Ooh, plummet's not a bad draw. So we have access to five mana. So I think we just play Manolith here, and then we can plummet something. So we must have disperse or something in his hand. No, he would have he'd cast disperse on our spider, right? Alright, he's got the Disperse. Alright, let's go ahead and plummet the Snapping Drake. Um, 
I think we are going for an exclusion mage plus uh, maybe a giant spider plus rabbit bite. Let's see if he has essence scatter for this. Could be his last card, it would make some sense. Okay. No real way to play around a bone dash there. And as long as his draws aren't too good here, we should be okay. We're still at 19. So he's gonna hit us down to 13. So I think we wanna bounce his guy. And then shoot his snapping drake. So I think we just gotta play our own snapping drake here. Let's attack first, I guess. That's unfortunate. Probably just worth blocking here. I think it's gonna do better. A little late there. Um, I guess we play Rock's Oracle. can actually attack, right? Because we want to put him to 10. And then we're going to sleep. Yeah, we're going to attack. I guess he kills us if he draws an instant or sorcery. But how many instant or sorceries don't kill us anyway? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Because if it's an instant, then we're kind of boned anyway. So now we get to go for sleep and then we'll have essence scatter. And I think we just have to leave up Essence Scatter instead of playing the boar. I guess that's not true. Because this loses now to a removal spell. All right. Yeah, we should have played the boar. I forgot we were a little... I forgot we got that hit for two, and I thought we needed exactly six more next turn. So we should have played the boar. Because then if he drew a removal spell... He gets to kill our 4-2, and we can't kill him anymore. And then he's going to untap and kill us. So that was imprecise. I was thinking we needed the exact 6, but his life total is 4, not 6. And if, and if he drew a creature, we'd have two 4-power attackers, so we would have been good. So that was a mistake. All right, well... Let us see if we can get the diamond and seven wins. Yeah, I gotta keep this. I think I mind that. A lot of white red decks. Be nice to draw plummet. I 
All right, I like him not doing anything. Uh, I think I'll just play Manolith here. I think. His, his priority holding doesn't make any difference because he's got the cleric out. Oh, he's not really doing anything. I think we just want to Luminous Bonds this guy. Maybe not. Maybe we just want to get down. Because he might have something a lot bigger to deal with. He also could just be holding up Electrify. Yeah, I think I'm gonna Luminous Bonds this guy. We don't really have any game plan for dealing with this thing. Like, Angel's annoying, sure. But I think now we just get down Patient Rebuilding. And hope this holds. And then we can do the totally lost his Angel of Dawn trick. All right, the Daily Chaplain's okay. Okay, so we have a four, five, six mana, seven mana with the Gift of Paradise. So yeah, I think I just play two dudes here. We can take another hit for three. We're gonna gain three off the Gift of Paradise anyway. So. Did I do this mana right? Oh, we only get to play one guy, right? I can't count. Or did we not play a land? I think we played a land. Well, I, I don't really care that much about getting ground guys down, so I'll still do it this way, even though I think I did miscount. Because I think I did play my land already. Yeah. Um, and we'll just get down a Centaur Courser, just because it can't be shocked. So I can respond to this. So I can target him and then put his angel on top, right? I mean, I know that's a legal play. So if I hit submit, it's not just going to do it, right? Okay. So let's put the angel on top. Take off full control mode. And then I can play my guy. Uh, let's play the gear per guide, I guess. Another Luminous Bonds, but all he's doing is getting in for one, so not too worried. All right, he had Milton Electrify, draw two cards. So we have three, five, so we can play both our guys, I think, here. Though I seem to always do math wrong on here. Extra card. Alright, not a bad draw. 
I think I'll attack f for two. Big card, I guess. No, that was a dumb attack. We're just going to mill him out. So there's, we're not going to kill him with damage, I don't think. So no real reason to do that. I think we can let that resolve. Gonna go down to all right, build two inspired charges, so probably doesn't have a lot more of those left. The big things to watch out for would be Banefire, maybe the card that makes land creatures not block, but it's not currently a threat. He's only got three power on board. I think we're just going to mill him out here. All right. Got more counter spells. That's fun. Currently at eight lands. He would need two more lands in order to bane fire us to death. All right, so I think we're gonna get diamond plus. Well, we're definitely getting the seven wins, and I think that gives us diamond now, right? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Claim that prize. I mean, the impacts. I think that's my sixth, seven oh, probably in like under 25 drafts. So I think that's a pretty reasonable rate. So before we go, we'll open up these packs. Everyone likes to open packs, right? Isn't that fun? Oh man, we got a nice little, yeah. Hey, Liliana, it's not really a good card. We got something sweet here. Hey, Blood Crypt's good. All right, cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you later. As soon as I find...